It is about who you are as a person that defines your photography, that defines your style. See, if you think about it, it's not just about the picture. When someone looks at it, it's not just about the photo, the content of the image. It also speaks about the photographer who took it. There is no way that you can take a picture and not leave a piece of yourself in every image that you take. So I want you to hunt that down. I want you to find yourself in your photos. That for me took a few years to get to, to kind of figure out why am I taking pictures. And then when I started seeing and, and, and being moved by some of these images, I, I, I realized as I was looking at this as the psychologist, that it was myself that I was looking at. See, if you think about it, photojournalism, which is primarily my style of shooting, is such that if, if you had like 15 photographers show up at an event and they're all photojournalists from all these different stations or newspapers and a moment unfolds in front of all 15 of them the shutters will go off are all the pictures the same it's impossible it's dependent on who grabbed that shot as to what defined that moment for them and that's based on who they are people ask me a lot of times how come there's so much emotion in your work it's because I'm going to suck for emotion. How much coffee do you drink on the day? How much coffee do you drink on the day? Next question.